eSignature speed up the process for you and prospective clients. It takes out the need to print, sign, scan, and email an agreement back. Here's the good news though, you might already be able to add an e-signature and I found a free workaround. If you have Google Workspace, you can add an e-signature to your Google Docs. Pandadoc, DocuSign, Lumen, and DocHub all have free trials. If you're not sending out too many proposals, these are perfectly fine options. Now, if you're a creative like me paying for an Adobe Suite subscription every month, well guess what? You have Adobe Acrobat. But if you want to avoid touching subscriptions altogether, we are going to be using Microsoft Edge. Don't laugh, it works. All right, you were kind enough to send me an email, it's proposal, agreement, whatever you want. And here it is. So it's attached to the email and I need to sign it. So I'm going to download it to my computer. There it is. I'll go to my downloads and it should be right here. So here it is. Now with Microsoft Edge downloaded on your computer, I'm the client in this perspective. I can right click and go to open with, and I can go to Microsoft Edge. So Edge will open up and we have some options here on this top bar. So if I scroll down, I need to sign this, right? So I like to add a text box so we can add text and we can just type her name. I'll type in my name. I can add another box. I'm a co-owner and then today's date or whenever the date is that I'm signing this agreement, right? Now, one thing that I do like to add is if I can go to the top here, I can draw and I'll change it to black and then I'll just do my best. This isn't going to be nice, but I like to just do the initials so it isn't too embarrassing. So I'll just draw a K and an A. Look at that. So next I'll go and do save as this top part where it has the save icon, but it has a little pencil by it. That is the save as, and then I can rename it signed, signed, and then I'll put my initials, right? So we'll save it. Say that I open it up in something else like Google Chrome. We'll just make sure that it's saved the writing, right? So I'll open up in Google Chrome and guess what? It is signed, baby. So that's a free option that you could do. Now, as you saw, that was a few steps. It wasn't too bad, but to coach someone or maybe send them this video probably isn't ideal. So if you want a more seamless process, it might be worth checking out those free trials to the other services that I mentioned. Now, my fellow creatives are going to jump into Adobe Acrobat. So with my current subscription with my Creative Cloud, I have the all apps. So it's about 60 bucks a month here in the US and you get Acrobat with it. So if you don't already have it downloaded, please do that. Inside of your system, you should be able to type in Creative Cloud and then you open it up and then here's the app. And inside apps, you can search it and go ahead and download Acrobat, okay? All right, if you don't already have Acrobat being the default, you can do open up with Adobe Acrobat on your PDF file. And here it is, we see the agreement, the proposal, the quote, whatever it is. If you wanna download this, you can also find this in the drive, we have it in there. So do feel free to go to the free assets. You'll see it free Saturn's ring sales quote. And there it is. And if you need to do file, you can download it as a PDF once you change it to whatever you are offering. So there's a few things down here. I like to put my own name on the proposals just so it's like, hey, we're in this together. So it's not just one signature. I like having both signatures on there. So we're going to go ahead and create a signature. So go up to the top here where it says request e-signatures or go to e-sign. So we'll hit that. And now we want to add a signature. This is going to be our signature. So we'll add one. Go ahead and type in your name and you can change the style if, if you would like. And you can also drop in an image if you already have your signature out there. And then you can also draw it yourself with your mouse. Go ahead and click apply. Okay. So now on our cursor, we have our name. So I can go over here and click and there it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my initials as well, just so I have it. So if I have to do the same thing, I can add it to the document, but I'll go ahead and hit delete and there we go. So I have both of those for future use. So now I need to fill out these, these other boxes, right? We can see that Acrobat is recognizing that this is a table. So I can go over to edit, the edit tab, and I can type in add content where it says text. And now we can start typing out stuff. So I'll do my, that I am the co-owner. So that's good. We can change the font size, the font style, kind of like your regular settings. And then I'll go ahead and click off and go to date. So I need to add the date and that's good. So I'll go over and click my little cursor where it says select. 
And now we can move it around if need be. So if you hover over the text box, you'll see the little crosshair and you can move this around if you need to. Okay, so that's good. Next, we need to request an e-signature. So we'll go back to e-sign and then we'll go up to request e-signatures. So now this is the pop-up that you should have on screen. So if you have a few people that need to sign this document, you can add it by doing add recipient or hitting this little plus sign. And you can just add the recipient there. Keep adding them how many people that there are. And then if you need to change the order for any reason, you can go over to these eight little dots and you can click and drag and you can move the order like that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because it's just one person. And I'm gonna put the email of my client. So in this case, it is LeBron James. Little old LeBron James, not the famous NBA player. And we're gonna do prepare document. So over here we have the recipient and we're gonna direct our attention back to these tables. So if I click on this first table where it says name, I want this to be the e-signature. So I'll go to change field type and go to signature. And there it is. And you can also change it on this left bar. So where I have it selected, you can change it from e-signature block with email, digital signature, or a stamp. But in this case, we want the e-signature so they can just type it in. And then we have initials and we have other options here, but I'm gonna go to title. So that just needs to be a text box. So if I click it, we're already good to go. So we can go to change field type and we wanted text. So that's good. Next is date. Now, Acrobat was smart enough to already identify that we wanted the date, so that's good to go. But you can also change the date format. So here in the US, it's month, day, and year. So I'll go ahead and change it to that. And you can also change the field type to date of signing. Whenever they actually sign this, it will automate whatever the date is. So that is an option as well. But I'll go ahead and opt in for the regular date. And there it is. That's all there is to it. We'll do review and send on the left side. So this next window is like an email. If you need to add other emails to it that aren't signing it, you can do that here. You can change the subject line to say something else. And then if you needed to add more to the message or in the agreement, you can do so as well. So it's just like an email. Now what's really nice about this is that you can set reminders. You can do no reminders every day, every business day, every two days, every week. These are great. Please use them please use them. So I would opt in for every two days or every business day. It's very professional. So I'll go ahead and click that and do send. And then it's going to upload your file to Adobe Cloud. And it's going to send the agreement to whoever you had on those emails. All right. So I'm not cutting this out because this might happen to you, but I still have this bar saying prepare document for reading, but it already sent. So you can save the agreement as a template. You can track the status or you can send another one. And you can also just close it or view in agreements. I'm going to opt in to view in agreements. All right, so we can see our agreements here. You can see how many takes that I did. It's going to retrieve the agreement. And guess what? There it is in all its glory. So you can see the status here, which is really helpful. And then you can also send more reminders if you need to. So you can check, okay, they received it at this time. Everything's good to go. So I'll go ahead and open it up just to show you that I received it as the client. So here's the email. Now I can hit review and sign. Look how seamless this is. It's so nice. They're gonna just gonna click continue. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and they're gonna click here to sign. And guess what? It already puts in their name right out the jump. So they can upload it from their mobile device if need be. So if they wanna sign it themselves, it'll send it to them and they can you know use their finger. They can draw it with their mouse or select an image. But this doesn't get much easier than this. So you can just hit apply. They can type in their title. So they are the co-owner of LeBron ice cream. And then the date, 1424. And there it is. And they can do click to sign and you're good to go. Please check out our products down below. I'd be happy to collaborate and meet you inside of our paid Discord community. I answer any questions you may have about software and business and also make personalized tutorials for the community. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one.